What's up everybody, Danny Crafts here, and welcome to another episode of Crafting with Daniel. On today's episode, I'm going to teach you all how I make my labels for my candles. Now this video is act. oh, we're also going to be making dust covers for the tops of candles. This video was actually highly requested in the comments of my previous candle making video. So I wanted to uh, tell you all some tips and tricks I found for making your own candle labels at home. So I started off using Avery labels. Um, if you're doing this, you are wasting like a lot of money. You get 10 sheets of paper for $20. It's pretty ridiculous. Super easy to use. They have an online, uh, a platform to use for Avery, but just overpriced. Then I bought a 250 pages of label sticker from Online Labels. You can make labels there. I make them at home, so I just bought the blank paper. 250 sheets for 20 bucks comes out to like 10 sheets a piece of paper. Super easy to use. So, if you have a printer at home, you can really experiment with ways to make your own labels. If you have a Cricut and a printer, you're in luck. That was weird. So, what I do is I design my labels in Cricut. Uh, you can't see here, but they are white shapes. Like, I do white circle with text on top. I flatten the image so it becomes a cut and print. And then I print them all out, and the Cricut actually goes around and cuts them out so that they become the individual labels. Uh, I just put the font on a white sticker. I really like, like a minimal looking label, so that's how I do these. But you don't need a Cricut to do this. Yeah, you can buy circular labels or like rectangular already pre-cut items and you just print on there, so you just have to peel. Or if you have these, you can trace out. You could print them out, trace out the image, uh, the trace out the circle of your candle and cut it out by hand. This won't be as pretty, but it's pretty cost effective. It'll get the job done. You know what I mean? So, Cricut. Cut and print. Option one. Option two with your Cricut is this is a Starbucks theme candle I made. Um, I did use like a cut and print method to make a fake kind of looking receipt, uh, but I also used vinyl. Now, if your label isn't too fine detailed, you can just cut it out with vinyl and stick it on. Um, I know Stanley Handcrafted does this type of thing for his more luxury candles, um, but that's an option if you have a really kind of like bold label. Should be easy to cut. I also made this into like a fake Starbucks cup. How fun is that? Anyways, so these labels aren't waterproof, but super easy to make. The great thing I love about Cricut is you can put in the dimensions of the size you want your shape to be, put the text on top, and it cuts it out um, to exactly what you need. There's no real guessing here. Uh, I can do a quick little computer tutorial that I will play now uh, for how to create that. But something that I mentioned in my luxury candle video was how to make dust covers for your candles. I don't like putting labels on fancier candles because I think it's kind of tacky and when it's more of an accent piece, you don't want to like put a label or a picture of apples on it. You just want to like put something simple on top that people can remove and it becomes a decoration in the house, not just like... Uh, a product, you know what I mean? So these are, um, and this is an example of dust covers I made for this tough kind of 
polygonal shape here. But what I'm gonna teach you all how to do today is how to make a circular dust cover. So this is one I just made, it's called uh, Berry Berry Christmas. And Berry is spelled Berry because it has uh, bayberries in it. And it's also spelled Berry like a bear because there's bears on the side. So a Berry Berry Christmas. How fun is that? So what I do is I measure, I measure the diameter of the circle. So this is three inches edge to edge. I want it to fit inside, so I do it 2.9. 2.9 inches in a circle. I make that shape in Cricut, and then I know that the I use a wooden wick, um, so I'm gonna want a rectangle piece cut out. So I slice out a center of my circle with a rectangle, so now I have a circle with a hole in the center for the wick. And then I take the text tool and I write Danny Crafts at the top and then I write the information underneath so that it will just place on and has all of the required information that you need, how much, how many ounces the candle is, what's in it, and then I also have my warning labels on the bottom. Dust covers come with a little tab and so all I do is I add a little rectangle or a circle and I weld it to the base shape. So it becomes a circle with a little tongue kind of thing and it's all one piece. Then I flatten it with the text so it becomes a cut and print. And I print it out and cut it on my Cricut using light cardstock. Now, cardstock, get this at Michael's, get it at other paper stores, you can find it online. But um, I love going to Michael's so I got their paper. I got craft paper and white cardstock. So after I cut it on my Cricut, it's already ready to go. I just peel that off. And those are the dust covers there. I don't know if you can see that. A berry, berry Christmas. How fun. So I just peel it off. And as you can see, there is a slot for the rectangle. Now I haven't tested this. This might be too big, it might be too small. I just kind of wanted to do it live. But all you do is you fold the tab and place it on your candle. Wow. Fits like a glove. You honestly want it a little snug. So I honestly could go even a little smaller with this because it is just snug in there. I might squeeze it in but don't want to damage the candle. But that's how you have a dust cover that keeps branding on your candles but doesn't take away from the decoration on the side. Now if you don't have a Cricut and you're thinking oh god how do I do this? All you do is you draw a circle, draw a rectangle in the middle, make sure it's the right diameter, cut it out with a little tongue. Um, and write your information on the top, or you can pre-print it using Microsoft or another program that you have, Illustrator maybe, but you don't need to buy these online, you can make them yourself. Um, so I, like I said, I get my sticker paper from onlinelabels.com. I used to get it from Avery, but that's way overpriced. And then I get my cardstock from Michaels and I make everything myself in my basement. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments below, but hope that helps some of you out with that are, oh, wow. Hope that helps some of you out that hope I helped some of you out who were asking about candle labels and dust covers. You can do it with a printer and a Cricut or just a printer at home or just paper and handwriting. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you later. Stay, uh, st stay crafty. Ta-da!